recording. Okay. Hey, everybody. Back. So, what did you think of this one? So, we watched Ouija. You have yeah. not watched it. I watched it before. Yeah, it's my first time watching it. That was great. We actually didn't watch it continuously. We actually jumped through like all the boring parts. Yeah, but we saw the parts where they were like moving their hands on the Ouija board, and that was creepy. Very creepy. Very creepy. Rule one don't play the Ouija board alone at home. And second thing, don't play at all. Right. <laughs> yeah. It's like, not that I don't believe in it, but like, I don't want to like mess with the, with the evil spirits. Right. Not with the evil, yeah. I mean, I guess, yeah, exactly. I mean, in, there's the Holy Spirit, though, that protects you, right? That works. True. But how, but like, it's still not good, yeah. I guess. Even like saying that you believe in the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. there are some people that don't believe in any God. So it's like, it's a bit like atheist, so you don't believe in, like, you're not like, you're not Muslims, you're not Christians, you're not Catholics, and you're right. not Buddhist either, so you don't really believe mm -hmm. in God. Yeah. Right. So, and then I like how um, the Ouija board in the movie, it was a, uh, um, like, piece of history almost how it dated back to a few years ago because I feel like it adds a better element to the movie when that happens like with um the movie Polaroid or with Sinister a little bit like Poltergeist Poltergeist yeah have you seen the movie Poltergeist before no, I know a little bit about it, but Definitely I have so many one. movies to watch. So many. Like this next video, we the movie, we're gonna watch, we're not gonna watch a horror movie, we're gonna watch Screw. Oh, yeah, we need to watch that. Because we to be fair, it, they do have mysteries and they do have ghosts, so. I think it's a scoop. It's more funny. <laughs> Actually, scary. Yes, like, exactly. With because, Shaggy and Scooby. Oh yeah, Shaggy and Scooby, who are two total idiots in the movie. Exactly. They're just like, okay, let's see how much stuff we can eat. And how uh, and how much trouble we can get into. The funniest about the Scooby Doo movies is that so like they already catch a ghost. Why don't you just unmask the ghost then? Why do you have to like run away from them just to recatch them later and unmask them? There's so much running. Like in one of the in one of the shows, the opening animation is literally of them running through doors. Oh yeah, I remember that. So back to the this Ouija movie. Yeah, I, I think the I, scariest I, part was when she would look into the triangular thing. I know. And then she saw the little girl with the soap lips. With the soap lips, that was, yeah. That to me was the creepiest part because if I was playing Ouija and I saw that, that would be creepy. Very creepy. Yeah. So, 
What movie? Oh, so we're going to watch Scoob next, right? Yes. Yay. And like, if you guys want us to watch any movies, like, give us a bunch of like movies to watch. Maybe yes will be up next. Oh yeah, they should put little comments and stuff. That'd be cool. I see the one that I would like to watch, but it's not actually a horror movie. It, the one I don't I think I've said it in the last mood like I don't know whether I recorded it in the podcast is I want to watch San Andreas again. San Andreas. Oh yeah, because it was kind of like World War Z. That's right. And like the only thing about San Andreas is that a lot of things are inaccurate about that movie. Then it is accurate. Oh yeah, you could talk about that because you're from the San Francisco area. So Let's say saying firstly that like, when you have an earthquake, how is it it's not possible to have an earthquake and you have a crack that is like this big? Right. <laughs> And like, it's, yeah, it's over dramatized in that movie, I think. And you cannot have an earthquake of a 7.0 and have a tsunami seven feet high. Right, like I feel that as if there were just, um, I think there was a 7.0 this year or last year and a tsunami did not happen. But so. I get that you have like big waves that you have right. a big tsunami for a 7.0, yeah. but you cannot okay. expect to has, have a 7.0 magnitude earthquake and have a seven feet high tsunami. Right, oh yeah, definitely. Like you can have some things like, I don't know, we should look that up. That would be good to research. Like you can, the next one. if you don't have like a seven feet high tsunami, you need to have like a 50, magnitude of crate, something like that to like trigger that high of a tsunami. Yeah, I know. Like that's crazy. I I remember um because California we have a bunch of earthquakes and so every year in school we had to do the um hiding under desks, the little earthquake drills and yeah, and one time an earthquake actually happened and I was pretty scared. <laughs> I still remember like when I first moved to Japan, like they actually prepared us like because you know in Japan you that is known to have like earthquakes or like right. you have right like off. Mount Fuji, you have volcano, so you need to be like prepared. Yeah. So when they taught us saying, oh, you need, you need to hide under the desk. So, like, if you are near the door frame, stand under the door frame, do, like, anything. But the day that it happened, I remember it was, like, 2011 when the earthquake happened. The, yeah. the class, I was in a history class, actually. <laughs> that was the funniest. Yeah. And How was, large was the earthquake? I don't remember. I remember it was quite big. And we were in the, and like, our class totally forgot all the drills that we've learned. I know. So instead of always, instead of hiding underneath the table, we ran out the door. Oh no! I know. Like some some of the kids, I remember in my class, some of the kids were not didn't know what to do or they were scared and the teacher literally had to tell everybody like get under the desk just do it I still and were they okay were the kids okay i still remember that we ran out and like oh. at first i i was like oh my one of my classmates must be jumping up and down and like, causing the whole building to shake <laughs> So we yeah. ran out and like I remember, I remember my history teacher was like, oh look like the electric light is shaking, the lamppost is shaking. <laughs> no, I know, like I think 
I know, because I remember what they told us to do if we were outside. They told us just to stay there and make sure that there weren't any trees. Did it fall? Did the electric post fall? No. They, one oh, good gosh. thing about Japan is that like they built the buildings just to be like safe from like um what from earthquakes? Yeah, I think they did some of that here. Don't they do that in San Francisco too? The only problem with like is California is that a lot of the buildings are like very old. Right. And they are saying that they are fire hazards. Yeah, I know. There are some buildings that that just stay there. Like houses. Yeah. I know, because you see those little signs up and it's like, this place is a fire hazard. You cannot enter. But then there's still people working in it, so. Yeah. Oh, San Francisco. Yeah, that's a. Yeah. So, San Andreas, the movie, hits close to home. And then, um, talking about, about like, we're getting a sidetrack here, but have you played sports in the in a team? Yeah, I played um water polo and then I did swim for a little. So just like played when I played you no know, yeah, I played like volleyball in like college. Yeah. Yeah, I played volleyball. Very today I was very close to one of the assistant coaches. So mm -hmm. we had I the the students considered me as one of the assistant coach, but I wasn't really considered one of them. I was more like a student than actually like part of the assistant coaches. So there is three assistant coach and one head coach. And oh, there are three assistant coaches. Wow. There's then like at least like you have one uh, coach for like depending on like which position you play, so then you can they can have like be working in different like fit that specific like area that you are in. Right. Yeah. Cause for for my when I played, I only had one coach. <laughs> or maybe two. Yes, I guess I like, with water polo and especially swim. Like, how much can you coach? Exactly. You know? I mean, water polo, you do need to do quite a bit of coaching. But we had a um a team captain which did yeah. some of the coaching. So I guess if like water polo, it. It's not so much like coaching, but more like strategy. Yeah. Like strategy, yeah. Like, like exactly. Then like mm -hmm. coaching the students in which position you are in, like. Right. Yeah, there was a lot of strategy for that. What about for volleyball? Can I say, you've been to volleyball games with me, like usually. Yeah. You know, like we have six players on court. Mm -hmm. But right. when they introduce students, there's always like seven players. And it's always like you have a libero that is swapping in for the middle blocker. Mm -hmm. So I actually didn't want to go back into playing for the city college. Is it okay to say names? Probably. I mean, maybe you should change it for, you should probably change it. I mean, I guess you could say first names, but not. Like, you've met my, one of the assistant coach, coaches, John. I remember, I, you helped me give him something once. 
Right, yeah. So he at, at least I said like the first year I went to see the men's game was like twenty seventeen. It was one of my classmates who was playing for him. Right. And the, and the first time I met him, I still remember I thought he was a snob. Really? Was he? Well, I guess I, he was a brand new coach and I was still quite new to the campus anyway. Yeah, so I know. Like, like when you're new to the campus, it's, yeah. So, so the, continue. Um, to the gym, so you have like three levels to the gym. And like, I know, that gym's huge. And there is two staircase leading to the lower level. One is like the computer side is like going down and the other stairs is on the other side and so i thought that both of them lead into the gym so i didn't want to go down the steps because i was like i don't want to get caught for not paying right so yeah. then i saw him walking down and he, i see how he had these like bright blue eyes I don't, Aww. And I didn't know whether he was wearing contact lenses to change his like eye color. Right? Did he? Because I don't, he? I don't know. I, but I always thought he has these like blue eyes. And so I stopped him and I went, "How do I get down to the gym?" And then he looked at me like I was a total idiot. Did he? Oh, I hate when people do that. And then he went like, go down, get the stairs. So I do him, and then he turned, and then he continued walking down the stairs. And one of my um, classmates that was taking the same English class with me, right? I looked at him and I went, what a snob. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like... I know that I've one time when I was asking somebody at the office um, where to get to a class, they were just like, yeah, so I can't believe you don't know. Well, no, they didn't say that, but it felt like they were saying that. It's like, um, it's over there to the right and it's like down the hallway. I don't exactly know where it is, but it's down the hall. Uh, I know like, he didn't mean it. Maybe he has like a tough day or something. Yeah. And like, but then that summer, I actually was like, oh, maybe I would like to be a student assistant. So I actually yeah. emailed him. Right. And I You could totally do that. Did you end up doing that? And so. I met him during the summer and he said, why don't you come and try out for the women's team in fall? If you don't make it, you can always be a student assistant for the women's coach. Right. And uh, then in my, I, now that I met him for the first time in summer and I was like, he is not I was a bit surprised when I saw him. I was like, that's a guy that was... <laughs> it's it's like he was actually... Yeah, and he wasn't as... I know, like, sometimes I guess it just depends on the day, huh? And, yeah. like, he... And in my... In back in my mind, I didn't want to blurt it out. I was like, oh, he's not that bad looking, you know? <laughs> but don't all the girls go for... <laughs> But in back my mind, I was like, he has a girlfriend. I'm not going to hit him. Oh, d did he? I did. Actually, the funniest is that I'm actually friends with him on Facebook. And yeah. you know how you can, like, just go through their past? Right. And I did. I did that. Just go through the past. And I was like, the year that I met him, he was actually dating someone. And it didn't last one month. It didn't last one month. 
that's that's bad when it doesn't last more than a month oh my gosh but maybe you say no you cannot really say too much maybe something bad happens that they have to yeah the relationship i know yeah stuff happens and i think he said something that but you did at that time he didn't really click uh, he's i think he said i'm going to be one of the assistant coaches for for fall but you know sometimes you one year in the other year you're out so you don't really exactly. pay attention yeah so that fall when i came in to try to try out he walked mm-hmm. in and he i was like, in, like and i was like you're the head coach i yeah i so, love this whole story okay and he looked at me like you didn't pay attention to a single word i say did you <laughs> i was like sorry <laughs> <laughs> I love how at first you thought he was a snob and then you become friends and then he's the head coach. That's I know, right? Oh. Yeah. Anyway, so so then the they said with the follow to the 17 I kind of like because I I met the other two assistant coaches as well. And you know how Santa Barbara is such a small community like everyone knows everyone basically basically it's yeah that's crazy so the two younger assistant coaches actually went to SBC what am I say to the city college in the same right. year but I don't know whether the other assistant coach actually played but I know he did mhm Oh wow, so they stayed there. They played and then they started teaching there too. Well, what happens is that Kara assistant coach was actually studying in an out of state university, but he only came back to be like to get I think hours for his like, university, I guess, for his major. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's cool. That's pretty cool. And I still remember that true halfway through the season Like I walked it. I came into the to practice a little late. I was like maybe five ten minutes late, and he was shooting hoops with volleyball. And then I walked in, and he was just shooting hoops with volleyball. And I was like, "What in the world are you doing? Why in the yeah. world are you shooting, <laughs> playing basketball with a volleyball?" I know, right? Like he was like, "Okay." I don't feel bad for being late. You're shooting hoops with the volleyball. And you you've seen how tall he is. He's like seven feet tall or something like that. Oh yeah, no, he's like super tall. And like, I walked in and he was missing every single hoop. <laughs> <laughs> and I blurred and out. He was a volleyball. <laughs> yeah, what did you say? And I literally blurred out like. You're seven feet tall, and you cannot make a single hoop. <laughs> um, what kind of what, coach are you? What did he say? And he was like, "I'm a volleyball coach, not a basketball coach." And then I went like, "I mean, that's a pretty good comeback." But and I um, went like, "That is no excuse for a seven footer." I know to if not- he's that tall, he should. Yeah. Did not make at least. I don't care if you shoot ten hoops and make like nine of them, but you should make like at least all, like most of it. <laughs> yeah, um, at least do like a dunk, at least dunk it or something, you know. And like the third assistant coach hasn't arrived yet. Because he was coming from another job, so he was running a little late. A little bit late, yeah. And like, so he went like, he dared me, saying, "I dare you to make five hoops." And that's when like, the third assistant coach like arrived. Oh, that was a like, bit embarrassing. So I went like, 
okay. So okay. he started shooting five hoops that he said, and he mm-hmm. went all in, and I was half his height. And he get the that assistant coach went like, I don't know what you did her, but she obviously won. Exactly. <laughs> this sounds so fun. I like this story. That's cute. And then I turned to him. I was like. You just got owned. <laughs> Definitely. You made all of those shots. And then he tried to, like, drag the second assistant coach that w- went to the city college with him. And she tried, he tried to drag him in, and he, he was <laughs> like, do you hear her? And I was like, don't drag him in. He has nothing to do with what, our conversation. Right, like, don't bring him in. That's funny. Then, like, the second year, which is 2018, yeah. I think I might have hurt his feelings. So, we had the new female assistant coach. Yeah. So, you went from him trying to, like, I, I use it loosely. So all the girls actually thought that he was trying to flirt with me. But really? I didn't, Were they? Aww. So I actually didn't. Who knows? Maybe. But like, you know, and I was trying to do, like, maybe I was unknowingly trying to do it the same way to him, but I didn't really pay attention. And like, I know, maybe, like, were you, were you doing it on purpose, or was, you know, it was like, I guess it, when I was like, say, teasing him, like, saying all those yeah. comments to him, I think the girls really thought that I was trying to impress him. Oh, but you were just trying to, like, do it as a friend? But it's like, or, you know, I was, it's like, I wasn't really aware that I was doing it. <laughs> and so... But you do like him, though. And he's not that bad looking, but I didn't really put too much thought about it because I thought he has a girlfriend. Right, right. Yeah, that makes sense. And I don't want, you know, you don't want to be, like, pushing yourself onto someone when you uh, like... yeah. No, that would be weird. Then 2018 came, and and we had a new female assistant coach. And he went from trying to, like, impress me to impress her. Oh, dear. And I went, like, facepalm. I know. I feel like that would be a facepalm right there. His co that would be so weird to have like a coworker that's doing that. I and feel then, bad for that coach. Oh my and God. then the female coach. Yeah. And then like you went from like him trying to impress her to like it changed a little. It changed yeah. my mindset when I found when I I didn't found him, but I saw him in a gay yeah. bar. Oh yeah, wait, is it was he with his brother? Is that when you saw I remember I was there with with you when you were talking about that. So remember that day that night the both of us went to watch a movie and we walked past Yeah, this and gay we bar? walked past the gay bar and and you just and, saw And uh, both of us picked in and I when like Oh my god, that's the coach. He's yeah, that's the coach. Bar. Oh. And you, I said, but you're like, are you sure? I was like, I know. Yeah. I was like, are you? Yeah. I still think you should have gone and said, hi. well, actually, never mind. Maybe, yeah, no. It was good that you didn't go say hi because you might have been embarrassed. Uh, then, I like, then I said, but you went like, take a photo. <laughs> oh, did I really? Oh yes. no. So I still remember. Why I, did I say that? I remember I took out my phone 
and I turn and all of a sudden I saw him like very slowly with his throat looking at you he was looking at you <laughs> made him turn and no. I went and I remember telling you run run and we made it to the movie theater right and then from that on, I was like, my coach's day. My coach's day. Oh, I know. Well, there's that dream. But like, I don't think he is. Maybe he just like that bar. Yeah, maybe. But, but then like, that fall actually was like, when I told him said oh I've applied to like different universities yeah I think it like hurt him a little I know I think he's like one of those sensitive bit sensitive types because huh? I I've emailed him but now he's already resigned so I was like I know oh. he moved to Texas well, that was last fall or last fall yeah so Wow. That's the funniest thing. Like, because he went to Texas to work there. And it was mm-hmm. coincidentally it, that it's in the same city where my brother stayed. Really? Which, which city? Was Houston. it like a... Oh, Houston. Yeah. So I was like, how does he know that I have family there? That... <laughs> That <laughs> is he a stalker or what? Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, well, yeah, I know. I yeah, on your YouTube channel, you have some good um, videos about your volleyball years. So then, like this year, he decides to resign. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I had know. a dream he about resigned. him last night. You did. Oh. Yeah, actually, I ever since I came back to Singapore, I had dream about him every single night for some reason. Really? I don't know whether is it a good dream or a bad dream. Oh yeah, what do you believe about dreams? Is that some dreams come true, some doesn't? Right. Yeah. So it's like I was dating him. I don't know why am I always dating him. <laughs> and then he just, like, the woman's team of the city college just had a new female head coach. Right. And, and she's, like, much older than us. She's, like, I think in her late 40s. Late 40s. Oh, wow. And she's already married with, like, two kids. Oh, was she? So it's like in my yeah. dream, I had a. It happens like every single night that I was dating him. Then, like, we decide to start a family. Then, after that, he decide. Then, he cheated on me with the assistant coach and the new female head coach. And then I got my revenge on him by like sleeping with his brother. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, no. I I swear some of your dreams that you get, they're that's just too crazy. I yeah, like when I have dreams like that, I wake up in the morning and I'm just like Why? 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 Why did my brain do that it's crazy all those little like pathways in the brain are just you think fine. he's kind of fine where i am neuropathically it's just like i see you <laughs> i see you i see you <laughs> and i'm watching oh good lord <laughs> No, like he's, oh my gosh, that would not be fun. Um, 
Okay, so um, yeah, I guess getting back, getting back to the vlog. I like I like our little rambles. These are fun. We should do that every vlog. <laughs> right, like just at the end. Okay, here's a story. <laughs> should have a little story. I guess I can tell mine next time because I'm going um, camping this weekend, so. So we may not be able to do the next video? Yeah, um, I could probably do it Thursday night though. All right, so this week just, we will record it on Thursday, but I will post it yeah. as usual. Yeah, if that's all right. Yeah. Cool. We'll watch Doom. We do, we're yes. not gonna watch a horror movie just because they're doing on a camping trip. That's a yeah. bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, but that'd be fun to watch. <laughs> so, back to the movie. Ouija. 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 Okay. So. Yeah, that's an interesting thing because some people call it Ouija bit. O the word? Mm -hmm. Ouija. Ouija. <laughs> Yeah. Ouija board? And some mm -hmm. people call it Ouija board. Ouija. Yeah. Because you start an A at the back, so it's like Ouija, Ouija. I know. It's, it, yeah, it's different. I guess it depends, like, what's your first language or what part of the U.S. you're from. or Like, even in the U.S., we have different ways of saying it, too. Ouija, Ouija. Ouija. Yeah. Ouija? Yeah. What did yeah. you say? Ouija. Oh, Arthur, what was it? In France, we say Ouija. Too. In France, they say Ouija. Yeah, Ouija. Yeah. That's just had an A at the back. Right. Isn't that interesting? I know, right? Yeah. So, should we end it? Yep. Then we can yeah. talk some more. Sweet. Okay. Oh, <laughs>